Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode today, second race day. So the regatta itself is the same regatta but it's two different eight events. So another heat and another final today. It's cup day. It's cup day. What is the cup called? Uh, Koenig Pilsener Cup. Cup. Is that uh, the van over there? The van over there. So we've got a cup yeah. to race for today. And in the first heat, it's all international crews. So we're going to get on the water soon after a little bit of a warm up, a little bit of a stretch. But again, it's all about the rowing and less about the filming. No introduction of the, of the guys today. So we'll see what happens with the video. So let's get to it. And we're back at the hotel after the heat today or the semi final. We managed to come away with the win against was it the German under 23s and, so and in German eight. development eight. But now it is on to the final after some delicious chocolate, some delicious food because remember, food is fuel and some wonderful recovery, just chilling out, relaxing. Like Calm is right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but now. No, pack up as well because Ed's made the move all messy. <laughs> that was and then we go back to the course and get on to the final. So let's get to it. And that was us just watching George and Harry finish up their races in the pair for the weekend. Now it's our turn. We're at the boats now, getting ready to go. So what happens now? We warm up, we chill out, then we warm up get on the water and just one more time to yam down that track behind me. So let's get to it. And we have made it outside of the ferry terminal here driving back to England after our race today after the final. Unfortunately I didn't get any footage of the rowing but we'll have a little bit of chat once we get back to the house probably tomorrow morning as we've had a bit of a disaster missing the ferry that we're supposed to get so it's now approaching Monday morning so I will see you later on today for a little bit of chat of how the weekend went and what we're doing going forward so I will see you in a few hours and we have made it back to the house today after a little bit of a disaster last night trying to get onto our ferry we missed the ferry that we're supposed to be getting on just with not enough time to get from the course to the ferry on time so we ended up getting one a bit later and ended up getting back here and silly o'clock in the morning but we're back now getting some food in because remember food is fuel getting some recovery in to go so we're ready to go on to camp this afternoon and then get our heads down for training and learn taking from what we learned over the weekend and really going training really hard and going getting some yam down and seeing how fast we can get but talking about the weekend saturday felt we performed pretty well uh, sunday uh with the the first race was decent second race it was uh, but the congratulations to oxford brooks university their first and second boat beat us as well as the german national team boat and the the first oxford brooks boat got was a 1.5 seconds between uh, the German national team and them, which is, that's outrageous. I don't think the the, nation, the, the German boat have been pushed that hard for a, for a while anyway, which is awesome to have from a British club as well. And I just want to say congratulations to them for some amazing racing over both days. And obviously the result on Sunday was brilliant, absolutely amazing. And we can only hope to be racing them up to their standards coming forward or going forward and I'm not sure we'll be seeing each other again whether that's uh, Met, Marlow, Brit Champs, I'm not really sure what we're racing at but hopefully we do and we can have some really good racing just like we did over the weekend. But now like I said we're going on camp back to Spain, back to Banyoles, hopefully the weather is just like this, not too windy, quite hot but not too hot because we don't want to, I mean my fair Scottish skin, I don't want to burn myself alive but Obviously, like I said, taking what we've learned from the weekend, there's certain things we can do differently, and then we'll talk to the coaches, see what we're doing going forward again after camp, and then obviously just keeping our heads down, keeping going, taking the negatives and the positives from this weekend, 
and obviously just trying to enjoy what we are doing. But that will be it for today's video, Yam Squad. Just a little bit of an update and then a little bit of a, a weird one because I thought I would be able to get footage from the race but didn't end up getting footage and then because we were all rushed to get to the ferry which we actually didn't end up making. But as always, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and I will see you in Spain. And have a good one.